hey guys and welcome back so today we'll be making tuscan salmon and we're going to be having it with spaghetti pasta um another quick recipe <laughs> and guys i think we're just gonna have to devote this whole series on my channel to this girl that makes this channel um island vibes cooking like she is just amazing like i love her recipes they're so quick so easy i don't know if the camera is yeah so quick so easy and just simple and she explains things so so well so i'm gonna link her down below and probably tag her because she she's amazing anyways <laughs> the wine we have today this wine is called jp chenets obviously it's another another savon blanc so sorry you guys know i love my savion blanc but this one's a little bit different it's very zesty i have started on started on it already <sighs> my wine's still in my bedroom my cup's in my bedroom but i've had some already it's very very like a um, citrusy taste to it but i think it's gonna go quite well when we have um the salmon with it so let me go and get my glass you guys i've had a, such a long week let me move <laughs> the ring lights in a little bit more <sighs> i've had such a long stressful week um and yeah i'm just looking forward to this meal um yeah so i think if i seem a bit off that is the reason why you know you just have those weeks sometimes so this wine and this meal is well deserved well needed i'm gonna pour myself some more of this wine i i'm not sure about this wine on just like a empty stomach i think it's more of a a food wine like to have with your meal because like i said it's very citrusy but like i said i need it so if you can hear my neighbor i'm so sorry guys she's like shouting and i can hear it so i don't know if the camera's picking it up so I hope you guys have had a, a good week so far. If you haven't, have a glass of wine with me because we need it, don't we? Cheers. <laughs> so as usual, let me pull you closer. So, like I said, I will link her channel and the recipe down below so you guys can see that. We've got our water on boiling. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm so sorry if you can't. There's a lot happening here. Like I said, I've had one of those weeks, one of those days. Um, but we have, yeah, we put the water on boiling there for the spaghetti pasta, which we're going to put in, in in a minute. This is our salmon. I don't want to touch it too much because it is raw salmon. And then underneath, I've got spinach. This will be cooked. That's why the raw salmon is with it. The recipe does say to use a parmesan cheese but I've, I've got a lot of cheddar cheese in my um, fridge so I just want to use it up so we're going to be using cheddar cheese instead. We've got black pepper, mixed herb is not on in her recipe but you guys know I love mix, her mixed herbs, um, paprika is in her recipe, she says pepper so I'm assuming she means chili powder so that's what i'm using um salt and cracked black pepper is not in her recipe but i'm also going to use that so she doesn't really cook the pasta on camera because i'm sure a lot of people know how to cook pasta but um yeah so the first thing she does is is to cook her fish this is such a easy and quick meal guys um so she cooks her fish so we actually need to season the fish so she obviously uses olive oil <laughs> something my guess a fabulous oil oil because i lost the milk but anyways um yeah she uses olive oil to season it just pour it over it to start with because that helps the seasoning stick <sighs> wine is well needed Let me bring you guys back a little bit. Okay, can you see me? That's cool. I think I should put the spaghetti in. So 
So we need to season our salmon. So we're gonna season it with black pepper. You guys know I absolutely love black pepper. So black pepper a lot. I should have got more of that today actually. Black pepper, salt. <laughs> so mix herbs. Oh, I think I've got mix herbs that is open already. So mix herbs. Paprika. And also the chili powder. Then we season. Just rub that together. This thing is a little bit small to actually season all of these. I'm not using gloves today, guys, because I haven't got any nails on. <sighs> giving my nails a break so with one hand i'm going to turn on the stove and i'm going to put some more olive oil in in the pan um, and then i'm going to add the salmon to it she says skin side down she says use free fillets but if you guys know, I always cook for the next day for myself. So that's in. And I'll just turn on the other stove. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, so the salmon's been cooking on one side for a little while. So I'm going to turn it. I really need to get another frying pan there. <laughs> you can't see, oh there you go. Got a few minutes more and then we shall put them to rest. And our spaghetti is still cooking. Lovely wine guys. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting get any ingredients today because last week I forgot the... <laughs> what was it? The pesto in the pasta. <laughs> oh, I'm using pesto to, um, pasta. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, guys. So... Fish is cooked. Spaghetti is cooked. Um, so... Now what we need to do is, we've got the minced garlic, so I'm gonna put this in, in the pot. I've got on like a medium heat. I really need to get myself like a fancy pot or something guys, honestly. Okay, I think that's the best this is we're getting. Actually, let me just... Ooh, okay. That's kind of good. So she just has that in there like that. Then she adds some She uses unsalted butter but I had this left over from one of the recipes I did the other day. So 
this is salted but it doesn't make a difference just have to watch your seasoning ah oh, can't get it off good guys I know it's not like the best angle but ooh, okay so the next thing she adds is the sun-dried tomatoes these ones are marinated but hopefully they should be all right Big. Her ones were not as big. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can like cut them or something. Hey guys, I have managed to kind of chop the, the tomatoes a bit. So the next fun thing she adds is this wine. Well, not this wine in particular, but just white wine. I'm gonna get drunk today guys because I'm drinking wine and now there's wine in this. So just add a healthy amount. Tip that in. And we just stir this. That is how it's looking guys. Let me just mind my hand so you can see. Okay. She obviously uses a double cream. Um, I'm gonna use two pots only because every time I've been using one, it's not been enough. So I'm gonna use two pots today. One, two pots of cream, guys. Whilst that's kind of coming sort of a boil, we're going to season it. So that's paprika. Mixed herbs, guys. Salt, but I'm not going to add too much. Black pepper. This looks so good, guys. And also, we're going to add in our cheese. Just stir, stir, stir. Ooh. Delicious. Okay hey guys, so now that that's sort of come to boil, I'm going to turn it down to like medium low heat because that's what she cooked it on. Two sort of handfuls of spinach, two and a bit because I did um, obviously add a little bit more cream than what she did. So that's our spinach. I think I went a little bit overboard with the garlic because I just tasted it and it's a little bit garlicky but good thing I'm not kissing anyone tonight <laughs> so just give that a good stir one cotton of cream because because um obviously we're not adding the pasta on if I remember rightly when I'm it's when I'm adding the pasta in the pasta I think soaks up the cream but anyways I'm gonna add a little bit more salt ok 
kind of really boiling now. So I'm going to add my salmon in. Just going to like carefully add it in. One bit of salmon. Three bit of salmon. Three bit of salmon. So guys, I literally think we are ready to plate this up. I'm just going to let it simmer for two minutes and that's it. And voila. Okay guys, so we made it. Uh, let me come back a little bit for you guys because a little bit closer to the camera. This is the food. Super happy. <laughs> looks lovely the way it turned out i think i put a bit too much garlic in it excuse me a bit too much garlic in it because it is very garlicky but like i said i'm not kissing anyone tonight so it's fine um i sprinkled a bit more cheese on top because you know your girl loves cheese um and yeah i think i should have followed the recipe a little bit better but let's just taste it and see i swear guys they do say like when you're like upset or not happy in a good mood don't cook and i really feel like that is why <laughs> but let's try oh, it looks so good though guys it does look really nice still very nice guys i love the um just flip the sauce at me i love the crunchiness of um of the spinach and also the, the paprika and the chili powder just give it that little kick if you don't like spicy things you can't handle heat at all maybe this might not be for you mm. I literally just made, <laughs> I haven't got sauce on my chin. I literally just made enough pasta for me to eat today. Just because I feel like it's so nice to have fresh, fresh like pasta made when you're going to eat it like as, not a side dish, but like you're not, like the pasta's not cooked in the meal, if that makes sense. When it's cooked separately, I think it's nice to have it freshly made. Mm. Very garlicky. <laughs> I mean, it's not crazy, crazy garlicky, but the garlic has definitely come through. Definitely coming through. Guys, look. Mm. I really feel like this was the ultimate best wine to have with this because it's very like i said citrusy so it kind of cuts through cuts through the um the fact that it's a very rich kind of dish so oh yeah it tastes totally different when you're eating it with this meal when you're drinking it with meal totally different hmm hmm okay I just got a tomato there I kind of forgot the tomatoes were in there really nice really sweet kind of gives that balance of the the spiciness and then you get sweet tomato in there good idea so yeah guys i'm going to enjoy the rest of this food and i'm going to start downloading the footage so i can <laughs> edit this video and get it up for you guys um 
yeah, like I said, let me know, guys. I'm going to have to keep choosing every week <laughs> what meal I should cook next week. Something quick and easy because this is no master chef. Um, <laughs> something quick and easy. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think or how you think I had done in this meal. Is this bottle small or have I drank a lot? You guys are going to think I'm total, total alcoholic, honestly. I do like a drink though. <laughs> yeah guys so let me know in the comments down below um what you think and yeah if you're not subscribed already please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload the nails will be back soon i just wanted a little break this week um but yeah thank you so guys so much for watching and i will see you soon